welcome back to Learn to Play. My name is Julie, and today I'm giving you the tour of the kitchen here, the bathroom, the main hallway, and the entrance at the Learn to Play Child Care Center. I'm very excited to show off these areas. They're not the most glamorous areas, but they're definitely areas needed in a child care space. So hopefully I'll be able to give you some tips or some ideas on how to set up your kitchen or your staff hallway, your staff bathroom, and so on and so forth. With that being said, let me turn this camera around and we're gonna start off here in the kitchen. Okay, as you enter the building, the kitchen is right here to the right. So as you enter the kitchen, let me just give you a quick glimpse of everything here first and then we'll go back and talk through everything. This kitchen is narrow. It's not, you know, the biggest kitchen obviously, but since we're not doing cooking, you know, it should be good. So starting off here in the pantry, Testing one, two, three, four. So starting in the pantry on this top shelf, I just have a bunch of extra paper products. I have some tissue and here are the white paper towels that go in the paper towel dispensers, some contractor bags, some small bags for the infant one and toddler room, and then some extra paper towels. Eventually I would like to put extra shelving in here just to house more um, supplies and any kind of um, other like not like we can't have commercial cleaning supplies in here, but just a stockpile on those kind of supplies in here. So this garbage can, I have this right now. I got this from like either Walmart or Home Depot. I do believe I am going to replace it with one that is on wheels though, just to make it easier to take out to the trash. So here is the lovely commercial refrigerator I had to purchase. <laughs> I got the refrigerator and the stainless steel shelving from Katam. Um, this refrigerator, I want to say, was like $2,000. So inside, I had to set it up a little bit differently per the health department. So on top, I have some bins labeled for staff. The staff can put their lunches or drinks in there. This middle shelf right here, I have a container for medication for the children and then a holder for any like pre-made bottles. I'll probably get a second one of those. And all of these clear containers, I want to say, I got from like TJ Maxx. And then on this bottom shelf is where I will house um, milk at. And then here is one of the stainless steel tables I got from Amazon. This is a two foot by two foot. That little um, jug down there is actually going to go in the entryway table for flavored water. I want to say this table was like $100, $125. And then we have to have a temperature log for the refrigerator. Um, the refrigerator. So I made this up. And then this little bin right here, this little like wall holder, I figured that we can put like, I don't know, they can put whatever in there. I may hang it up right now. I just have it sitting on top of there. Got a paper towel holder, a um, toaster. And then I got these containers, I wanna say from Marshall's or TJ Maxx for like $7 each. Figure we can put some kind of like snacks in there. Just some coffee for the staff. I got a Keurig. I did put a phone in here. The toddler two room will share this phone. I do plan on putting a commercial microwave in here as well. Maybe they can put it like right here. They're expensive though, you guys. They're like four or $500. That may even be on like the cheap end of one. The health department said I can have like a regular microwave in here for personal use because I was asking her about like staff using a microwave. I would just simply have to label it like personal on the front part of it. She said we could have them in, uh, I could have one in the office, well as like a mini refrigerator or two in the office for the staff to use. But I do believe all in all, I'm just gonna end up going with a commercial microwave. So starting in the drawers right here, this first one I just have some extra like aluminum foil, plastic wrap, different kind of baggies. We have to use these kind of Scotch-Brite um, sponges for the dishes and then I just have some straws and stuff. This one is pretty much just for like the staff, you know, some measuring cups, utensils for them to use. And then here is one for the children. Holly will be doing like a culinary class each week with the three and four year olds. So I got four sets of different things that they can use for food prep. And then this last one is just kind of stuff that we need for licensing, like the thermometer for food. And then we had to get alcohol prep pads to clean the thermometer. We have our testing strips for our sanitation water. This right here, I only have like extra boxes right now of stuff that we had purchased. So in this shelf down here, I just have some mixing bowls, some cutting boards, some like measuring cups, some um, dish strainers, some food strainers, and then some food prep. I got all of this stuff from Target. 
Eventually, I need to replace this cabinet, you guys. As you can see, it's very well loved. This is the only thing in here that I did not replace. I just didn't want to get into a mess with like construction. So for right now, it is what it is. This clock I got from Target. I think it's part of their like Magnolia collection. Then in here, I just have more paper products. Since I am going to be using regular plates and silverware for the children, I'm going to use paper cups though for their drinks. Just got some paper plates, some lunch baggies, some more Brillo pads and stuff, just extra stuff in here. And then in this side is where I have the children's dishware. So these square ones I got from Target, these were a dollar each. And then the round three compartment ones were 50 cents each. So I don't know if Holly's gonna color coordinate per room or just mix them up and just use whatever. That's probably what she's gonna end up doing. And then on top, these were all 50 cents each, the plate, bowls, and cups. I figured the staff can use that. And then I just put some like shelf liner in there. Moving over here, this is a four foot stainless steel um, cart that I got off of Amazon. Again, probably in the $150 to $200 range. Below, I have four water pitchers or juice pitchers that the kids will use for snack. And then I found these at Ikea. So they have some gray ones and then these clear ones. I figured these are perfect to put um, snack on. And then Holly can use the rolling cart to distribute food and snack. This is what I put together in one of my first videos. I always knew I would be using it here in the kitchen. That was from Home Depot and I believe it was $80. On top here, I just have the season everything with love. This little menu holder, I got that from Hobby Lobby. This little rack right here is from Target. I wanna say this was for $20 and I always knew like you could just put like paper plates or something in there. This utensil holder is from Target. It's part of their Magnolia collection. And I just put a bunch of different utensils. This decor right here is from Hobby Lobby. Here's one of those four foot shelves that I got from Katam. I got four of these stainless steel shelves. And then the containers up here, I think those are the better home and garden containers. Those were a pack I got at Christmas time clearance for like 20 or $25. Figure those are perfect since we're doing mostly dry snacks. Holly can put the snacks in there and distribute those out for a classroom. This chalkboard I got clearance from Hobby Lobby, I wanna say for like $3. I painted the door. This is the door that leads into the toddler two room. We had to put new fire extinguishers, obviously. Here's our evacuation map. And then I hung two more of those four foot shelves. I may put some kind of like seating right here, um, just because we don't have a staff lounge in here. So we'll see. And then up on top, this is part of the Magnolia collection as well from Target. And then I just put a knife set up there. Here is the last table that I ordered. I want to say this was either seven or eight feet, probably for about $200. This was off of Amazon. I'm trying to figure out what to do for like the plates and stuff to dry on. I purchased these from um, Marshall's for $10. I put the plates in here and they really don't fit. So I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. I got to show that to Holly and see what she thinks about that. And then down below from GFS, I got three tubs to put the dirty dishes in. And then I found this there as well for like the silverware. I need to get one more because I'd like each room to have their own tub. These mats were already here. I had to put in a little um, wastebasket per the health department. And then I put in this triple compartment sink with the faucet. I think this was about $1,000. It's not big and Holly actually cracks up because she's like, it's so mini, <laughs> but I didn't know. I just ordered, I guess we could have gotten a bigger one that maybe came out like this, but we're not doing a lot of like large dishes. So hopefully it works out. And then up on top, I just have some gloves. I have our bleach water um, that we're going to use for the sanitation part of it. I got these two buckets off of Amazon, some food handler gloves. And then I got these spray bottles. I need to get one, or no, I need to get four more because each room needs a bleach bottle and then like a soap bottle. And then this kitchen sign is from Hobby Lobby as well. Here is one of those employee um, hand washing signs that I ordered off of Amazon. I think it was like a three pack for $10. And then I did put in a new Purell hand sanitizer from Amazon as well. I did have one of those black soap dispensers up here and it fell off the wall. Probably because it's this kind of, um backing on it so luckily that one's staying still but so we just put a thing of soap down here 
in this room, the only thing I had to paint, luckily, was the pantry, just because the walls, as you can see from floor to top, are that whatever, whatever material that is throughout the whole entire building. All right, let's move on and let's go to the bathroom. Okay, starting over here in the bathroom, testing one, two, three, four. Here is an overview of the bathroom. I did paint inside of here. So starting right here, I got this shelf. This was $80 from Hobby Lobby. And I just love this sign down here. A girl without freckles is like a night without stars, especially being a redhead. I have seen this sign for a couple of years there and I wanted to get it. And I don't know why I never did. It was only $10, so I thought it was fitting. I put it in here. I got this Magnolia little basket here to put just like some sanitary stuff for females. Another little sign from Hobby Lobby, Need TP, text me. I think that was $5. I got this clock from Target. I want to say this was part of their threshold collection for $20. And then I do have like an air diffuser. I'll put like the sticks in right there. This employee must hand wash sign is the same one that I have in the kitchen. It was part of that three pack for $10. I got this rolled decor right here from Hobby Lobby. That was $20. And then I scored this mirror for $35 clearance at Hobby Lobby a long time ago. If you recall, there was like a metal mirror here. So this fit perfectly. I was so excited. I did put another like soap dispenser in here that I got off of Amazon. This trash can was from Target for $55. And then I just put some extra TP and a toilet brush holder. This wooden shelf is from Hobby Lobby, I think for $35. My daughter Ashley found this sign remain, um, please remain seated for the entire performance. <laughs> That's so funny. She got that from Hobby Lobby for $10. And then I got this picture and it actually lights up the light bulb. You can like turn it on and off. It's pretty cool. I think I got that for like 20 or $30. And then here's like a periodic table of elements. This kind of matches the other side. That was $20 from Hobby Lobby as well. So as you leave the bathroom, this is the main hallway of the building. I got this little table, this wood table from Hobby Lobby. I want to say that was like $160 or $180. And then down below, I just put some like fake books. Those were all from Hobby Lobby. This little truck, I think that was from TJ Maxx. And then the globe was from Hobby Lobby. They can switch things out like per season. I just thought to start off in the fall, I would just leave that here. And I like this because it has three drawers you can put things in. So I am going to have Keurig coffee for the parents. I did get this container for water so that when they needed to add water to the Keurig, so that'll be filled daily. Just have some simple cups. This little grandma and grandpa, I think these are actual like plant holders. They were from Hobby Lobby. These were so cute. These were $10 each. So in this one, I just put some sweet and low and then some coffee stirs. And then this butt first coffee that is from TJ Maxx as well. And then the Keurig, both the cups and the dispenser were from Target. I want to say that Keurig holder was like $20. This mirror is from, where did I get this mirror from? I think I got this mirror from Ashley Furniture. I think this was like $200 or $250. I wanted it to look like when you walked in, like you were walking into someone's like home in their entryway. And then these little buckets right here are from Hobby Lobby. I want to say for $10 or $15 each, as well as the flowers. I got this clock. I want to say for $20 or $25 from Hobby Lobby. This picture frame is from an antique store down the road I got for $10. And I figured each day how I can switch out the menu and put it in here. And then I did add a trash can in here. That was, again, $55 from Target just because of having coffee and stuff. This bench was from Hobby Lobby. This was, I want to say $180. I love this bench. As you recall from my gym video, I had that other bench that I purchased from Target for $100. And like I said, it wasn't the most like sturdy bench as far as like sitting. The bench itself was sturdy, but not for like, I don't know. I wanted something a little bit more sturdier out here. So I got that. I put a new hand sanitizer in here. This welcome sign is from Hobby Lobby. I wanna say that was like 20 or $25. Right here is the office. And then I did purchase two metal like file shelves. 
those were, I think those were like $35 or $40 each from Hobby Lobby. And then I just have information for the parents in here, like enrollment forms, medical statements, um, requests for medication. And then on this side, I have a transitional letter for them to go to an, the next classroom, some basic infant information, and then like the sleep position waiver. And this bulletin board is also from Hobby Lobby, I think for like $30, $35 as well as the letters that I spelt out parents, those were like $4 each. And then I just have some required information on here. We had to have the director's hours of availability and a copy of our menu. Eventually I'll put our license in here and then I'm gonna put our food service license on this board as well. And then any other like information for the parents. That LTP is from Hobby Lobby. I think those letters were $20 each. And then I just mimicked on this side, the staff, and then the same bulletin board. I need to figure out something to do here. I think I may do like staff highlights or like staff pictures and like put picture frames around or something. This water fountain we did replace. This is from, we got this off of Amazon, I think for like $350. So we do have a new water fountain. Woo woo. And then last but not least, let me show you what I did with the entryway. I always knew that I wanted this to feel like you were walking into a home. So I put like faux brick wallpaper on here. I was gonna do brick paneling on here and then I changed my mind just because, I don't know, I feel like that would have been a lot of work to do, especially like cutting around like all these edges. I played around with this, I think it looks all right. And then my husband did all of the trim, he stained it and I think it turned out beautiful. I got the sign, Welcome to Our Beautiful Chaos from Hobby Lobby. I think that was $40. I thought it was just so fitting for a daycare. Those numbers are from Hobby Lobby. And then this will be where like our security pad is to get into the building. Right now I just put a plate over it. We had to have a couple of signs over here, that peanut free one. Then I had to have a weapon sign and then a no smoking sign. I got, let me see if you can see them. I got these like little um, wood holders. I think I've shown those in other videos. I'll put a clip here what they originally looked like. We stained those and then we just added um, flowers into it. These flowers are for my daughter's wedding. <laughs> these are fake flowers. I want to say we bought from Old Time Pottery. I just love how they turned out here. It's so bright and cheery for the summer. I figured this, again, is something that can be changed out for seasons, you know, per season. In the fall, maybe we'll put like more like orange and yellow flowers in there. For the shutters, I simply just found two like wood pieces from Hobby Lobby. Those were only $9 each. We stained them. And then at first I just had like the long piece and I thought it was missing something. So then I found um, this at Hobby Lobby. This was already stained. So we just cut it to size and added it. So I wanted it to look like, you know, the outside of a window. And then as you can see in there is the director's office. We had to put another fire extinguisher in here. And then at the bottom are some more signs that we had. I did add this mat. This was like 40 or $50 from Home Depot. So I just love the, this entrance way. I don't know. I think it like looks cozy and I wanted to look, look like an outside of a house. So I think that look was accomplished. All right, guys, that is it. That is the tour for today. Um, I think my next tour is probably going to be the playground tour. I have that tour left, the office tour, and then an overall facility tour. I I must admit, I love this daycare center. <laughs> I just love how everything's turning out. It's like, it's so crazy to see like a vision you've had for so long come to life. So I'm really happy with the way things are turning out. I thank you all so much for watching me on this journey. Thank you all for your kind words, for your support. I'm really excited this weekend. We are doing another open house. In fact, our town is doing like a small business scavenger hunt. So we are partaking in that. So I'm hoping to get a lot of traffic, you know, here to see the center through those people. Um, other than that, yeah, you guys, things are just moving along, just waiting for licensing. So thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, please consider doing so. And I'll see you in my next video.